Welcome back to oh, We Never Learned the Rules in this, our 21st Call of Cthulhu campaign. Our Call of Cthulhu campaign can drink party! I, I was just about Woo. to make that same joke. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds. Wait, if our campaign can drink, can I drink? <laughs> you can, but it's a little early. Eh. Not for a weekend. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I am Brendan, your keeper. I am joined here by Evan and Anna, who are playing Ronnie McMurray and Trixie Carnahan. Hi. Um, excuse hello? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so last episode, Ronnie and Trixie were brought into Delta Green to investigate the fate and its connection to Jackson Elias's murder. And that's pretty much what happened. Yeah. There was a lot of drama that went on. <laughs> um, hard to sum up. A, yeah. a visit to Goodwill. Yes. <laughs> How could you forget the visit to Goodwill? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and Super some important. secret dealings. And that's where we're going to pick back up on Masks of Nair Lithotep. Morning comes, Trixie. As you have received wounds, but no major ones, you recover one hit point a day um, until you are fully healed. So add one hit point. This is going to be long going. Yeah, this is not D&D where you take a night's rest and you recover from like 80 sword wounds to the face. (laughs) (laughs) I wish, man. That'd be so sweet. What are your hit points at, Evan? Well, I think I'm back to full because I was at the hospital, right? Yeah. Is Uh, that what you said? He is back to full. That's nice. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe you just should have been experiencing a near-death experience. Can I admit myself to the hospital? (laughs) What are your hit points at, Trixie? Uh, Well, they were at 13. Now they're at 14 out of 28. Out of 28? Okay. Yeah. Um, And you didn't, like, get shot or anything, right? I... Give me a second. I don't think so. It would be in my notes. No, I just kept like missing. I think it was probably the accident that hurt the most or car accident. Yeah. Did you, were you guys actually, did the car crash or did you just get out of the car? I think you crashed. We crashed into that girl, that woman pulling out. Yep. Yep. I remember. But I don't remember. I honestly don't remember why my hit points are what they are. That's just what's on this printed sheet. All right. So. You wake up to Kyle in a robe coming out of his room and getting a bagel out of the bag. Is this a glitch in the Matrix? I've totally experienced this before. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, sorry, continue. (laughs) Well, that's that's just your morning. Uh, What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to get me one of those bagels. Yeah, it's definitely Kyle's shelf bagel. So you can uh, get one of Kyle's shelf bagels. I will, yeah, I will do that and um, just like check my messages, see if um, you see a me. message from Rebecca Schosenberg saying, so, "Call me." Who's Rebecca Schosenberg again? The New York Times reporter that oh. introduced you to Millie Adams. Got it. Yeah, um, yeah. While I'm having my coffee, I'll give her a call yeah you call her and um just kind of in a panic she's like i i i don't know what happened but uh hilton he was he was stabbed this morning is he okay like is he alive i i don't know yet we're they rushed him to the hospital but he someone Which tried hospital? to shiv him um just the prison hospital. I don't know. They haven't told me. This is just what I've heard. Millie was kind of broken up when she called me. <sighs> okay. Um, so I guess our meeting's off. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Um, well, no. But what I will say is, well, uh, I will say that, just not quite like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I guess the meeting's off. Um, Can you just give me, uh, just give me updates 
if you would. Um, yes, of course. Yeah. Because um, if at all possible, I mean, I, I, we still would really like to speak with him. I mean, I, I don't want to be crass, but honestly, you know, it, it, if he is innocent, the shiving, like him talking to us could be a way to get him justice. You know what I mean? Like, I... If he's still alive, I... I'll, I'll try to keep you informed, but I, I just don't know what's going to happen here. Okay. Yeah. Just, just send me updates. Um, texting's fine. Um, just for quick updates, but let me know if I need a call again. And, uh, she hangs up the phone. Well, Kyle. Yeah. And he's eating a bagel and like brushing crumbs out from, uh, his robe. I don't think we'll be speaking with Hilton today. He was stabbed and is hospitalized. Well, sounds rough, buddy. (laughs) That's an understatement. Um, (laughs) That's rough, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) Kyle is the, uh, the Sokka of the group. Yeah. Or is now the Zuko that says that. That is. I think they all say it at some point. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Um, that was definitely Zuko now that I'm thinking about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Saying it to Sokka. Yes. About his, his moon girlfriend. Um, He's the fire lord. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kyle. Whatever. He's fine now. Everything's fine. Kyle's fine. <laughs> Kyle Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the scars. He's got. Oh the- my god! <laughs> he doesn't have the scars because he has uh, right. amazing plastic surgery. Yeah, it's true. But anyways. he kind of looks like sexy Squidward. <laughs> 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 oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> well, yeah. So that was my plan for today. Um, that's not happening. I, I. <sighs> I really hope he pulls through because that was our best lead. I, um, where's Ronnie? (laughs) I am probably outside just, um, drinking cowboy coffee and drinking cigarettes just outside. (laughs) Did I say drinking cigarettes? Drinking. Yeah. Drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes. Um, my cowboy coffee, like, so it's just like the coffee grounds are in there and I don't care. (laughs) Um, Um, Would he be allowed to park right outside Kyle's building? I mean, it's maybe it's not as nice as my building, but it's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. um, I'm sure you found some overnight parking. Okay. Nearby. Yeah. Okay. Because I was like, if he's right outside, I'm just going to go out on the balcony and shout at him. (laughs) You're you're up quite a few floors. (laughs) (laughs) Ronnie, get your ass up here. (laughs) (laughs) Um, no, you got all southern. Yeehaw, Yeehaw Ronnie, get yeah. your tushy right up. No, I guess I guess what I would rather be it'd be like a honey, <laughs> Ronnie, get your ass up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I I will text Ronnie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ronnie, get your ass out here. Like up, up here. here, like yeah, but like out. No, no, up I here. get that. Who? What are you texting? That specifically, oh, right? Shit. Well, no. Do you even have a phone I can text? You have five burner Nokia phones, uh-huh. but uh, does Trixie have any of those numbers? Um, I bought them with Kyle, so maybe I shared them those numbers with him. So you have to text a bunch of numbers. <laughs> I'll text all of them. <laughs> all five of your burners just. Bzz, bzz, <laughs> <laughs> and they all say the same thing which is all caps Ronnie get your ass up here <sighs> okay and I I pour like a splash of whiskey into my coffee get it down in one sip even though it's probably piping hot and it's filled with coffee grounds and then <laughs> finish my cigarette as I walk over there and put it out just like right outside and then head upstairs through the elevator and then as I pass, I assume there's a no- new doorman. Yes. No, this is oh, this isn't Trixie's place, so. Oh, right. Oh, Kyle. Does Kyle have a doorman? I don't think it's that nice of a place. Okay. Uh, you just uh, punch a code to get in. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I just enter. I'm like, and I walk in. I'm like, hey, hey, Trixie, um, you can just do the one phone. 
probably. Well, I, <laughs> I, I never know which one you're using. I only bought 200 minutes, Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> you just wasted 10 of them. <laughs> it's, it's 10 cents a text. Like. <laughs> Despite the fact I'm like rich as fuck, like it's still like penny pinching for Ronnie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what, yeah it, what's funny is Ronnie is better off than Mo. By a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> In what way, though? Ah, actually, I think they've, they've both actually experienced a lot of trauma. Yeah, they might experience a lot of trauma, but Ronnie has money. No, I know. I'm just saying. I was like thinking like money wise, like emotional wise. Mo has like what? Ten copper? Yeah, like if a, that. a silver and a copper, I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I still have all the money. <laughs> Um, okay. True heroing is suffering. Yeah. <laughs> Sacrifice. That's that's Mo's new mindset. But anyways. <laughs> um, okay. Ronnie, get in here. Like, okay. We <sighs> want a bagel. Yeah, thanks, man. It's a little damp, but yeah. Ew, why is it damp? What is Kyle's that? apartment uh doesn't have great ventilation. Ew! <laughs> And uh, when you take a shower in there, it just gets real humid. Wow. Can we retcon the fact that I ate one of those bagels? I'm just kidding. Oh, God. That's... You probably like toasted it and yeah, you no, like I... watched it very carefully. So it was just perfect. I definitely did. Yeah. yeah. I, do, I do. I make it. I can make a perfect bagel out of anything. <laughs> it's your true New Yorker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Ron... I, I eat it plain. No cream cheese. Just like <laughs> starch. You know, which is good because when you open the fridge, there is a single thing of spoiled milk. Oh my god! And like a bunch of beer. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> from the chattiest uh, beer company. The chattiest. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, Ronnie. Yeah. Listen, Hilton Adams was shivved last night and is in the hospital. So I, I I just called Rebecca to get that information. She's gonna give me updates. Hopefully he pulls through. If he's able to talk to us, I told her it's really important that we still talk to him, but that that plan is on pause for right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of told you so. A man could die. You realize- This is exactly what I was saying, Trixie. People are- you we set a meeting with the guy and he gets shivved. Like, I don't know, whatever. Keep doing this, I guess. <laughs> and I'm so mad <laughs> at Ronnie right now. <laughs> Just like blaming me. Yeah. I mean, clearly if he's involved in any of this, he was probably going to be shivved anyways. Like. It's been this long. How long has he been in prison? A few years. Oh, that within is kind a, of damning. Within a couple <laughs> days, we set a meeting. Oh, sweetie, I know. Um, you need to go out. Okay, Ronnie, that's not helpful right now. Okay, I, I'm my... gonna need you. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to be a little, a little less judgy, and a little more helpful. Like, help us solve some problems, find some solutions instead of just pointing out all the things that you don't like. Because you know what? Is that not what I've always been doing? <laughs> It's been, what, less than a week since my fiancé was murdered in my apartment? Let's let's do the math. So it took place on, I believe, the 16th. Is that correct? Uh, I'm sorry, January 15th. Mm-hmm. So it has been four days since Jackson's death. Ronnie, it's been four days since we found my fiancé murdered on my living room floor. And... I I really I really feel like you're being kind of a dick. It's been what, five, six days since my wife died? Like, you're not in this alone. He's my friend too. I'm sorry, <laughs> you won't even let me fucking wear the suit I wanna wear or go out to my car. I thought when you I want liked to. the suit. That that's beside the point. Okay. Instead of just getting, you know, trying to make me feel guilty that our one lead was shivved. Maybe help me come up with a new plan. Okay. I don't know. Um, let's brainstorm then. What are you, what are you thinking? Well, 
We have a couple other leads here in New York, I think. Um, we, we have those business cards from Jackson's coat pocket. The Emerson's Imports um, is, is here in New York. Maybe we look into that while we wait to hear about Hilton. What do you think? Um, yeah, that sounds great. Um, we, uh, was that the only thing in New York that we were thinking of doing? Other than the business. Other than Hilton Adams. Okay. So all we know about it is that Jackson had that business card. Is that it so far? Yeah. And it had, what, a name on it? Amir Ag- Agdesh? Amir Ag- Agdesh. Agdesh. On it, yeah. Um, I'll pull out the business card from where I've been keeping it in my bag. Yep. So that we can look at it. Let me pull up the business card really quick. So, yes, it is a business card for Emerson Imports printed on ordinary stock paper. And Elias has written the name Amir Agdesh on the back of the card. Have we um, goggled this guy yet? This this Amir? Yeah. Uh, no. Um, I'll pull out my computer and start goggling doing it. Old, <laughs> doing the good old goggling. The good old goggling on the database. <laughs> so go ahead and roll me computer use, Trixie, and tell me what you get. Oof. 26? You don't quite pull up anything on Amir Agdesh. Um, for some reason, it does pull up uh, Whole Earth Enterprises. Hmm. Was that okay. the name of the Enterprises that was on the card? Or was it a different no, one? No, that was... A- the card says Emerson's Imports. Emerson Imports. Oh, Emerson Imports. But... Whole Earth Enterprises is something you guys have heard before. I do not remember it, and I must do control find. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was another of the business cards. It's in London. Okay. Um, okay, guys, come over here. This is kind of interesting. I, I'm not really seeing anything about this. Amir... It was Agdesh? Agdesh. Agdesh. Anything about this Amir Agdesh guy, but stuff about Whole Earth Enterprises is coming up. And that's, well, that's this place. And I'll pull out that business card. This was also in Jackson's pocket. That's pretty deep. Everything's all tied together, man. Just like one big Gordian knot. Yeah. Probably involves. Yeah, but what is the connection here? I don't know. I, Who knows I think, what role Delta Green plays in all of this? <laughs> Ronnie, you're going to have to trust somebody. We need allies. Have a little faith, man. <laughs> a little f- fate? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um... um. Okay. I, I'm good. Thanks, though, Trixie. My faith is pretty much gone. <laughs> okay. I think we need to go check this place out. Um, the Emerson Imports. There's no address, though, on the business card, or is there? Uh, there is an there is an address on okay. there. Okay. Maybe we go check out this address. I mean, is there any indication? Can I can I Google this place? Emerson yeah. Imports. Yeah, that's no problem. I want to see what they're importing like what is this business uh roll another computer use wow nice job that's a four which is actually like the hardest success okay go ahead and mark a success for that uh, and that will be raised next time we do an update sweet um yeah so emerson imports from what you can find is a small import company that deals with uh, fine art and other items of interest. Uh, it, it acts as a go between between uh, their clients and the places worldwide that they're looking to bring in these artifacts as either decorations or research materials and things like that. It is run by a man named Arthur Emerson who is in his 50s. He is a uh, you know, it's named after him. He's the main guy in charge. And it is located off of the Hudson River near Hell's Kitchen. So a, a go-between uh, 
for buy like buying and selling artifacts. That is correct. Okay, well, this was actually pretty easy. Um, do, can I tell from the website, like, does it seem like they have a storefront where people, like, would visit this they brick and mortar? They have a building. building. It doesn't appear that they have a brick and mortar uh, store. They don't appear to do any business with just Joe Schmo off the street, I guess would be the best word. They, they deal with certain clientele so i'm pretty rich yes um so would i like would i get the sense that maybe if i were to reach out to call like oh i am in the market for an artifact like they would hear me out maybe yeah potentially okay money certainly helps grease the wheels of many people (laughs) (laughs) okay yeah so it, this doesn't look like a place we can really just go visit to scope out. Um, like I, I, I don't think they do any actual business at this location, like with clients. But we could try giving them a call and see if they'll hear me out. You know, as a potential purchaser of one of their items. Okay. I, th- you that's, think you'll get any information that way? I mean, it's a pretty secretive. Maybe we want to like. I mean, I break think. In or something. Well, yeah, but I don't think doing that in the light of day makes the most sense. I think we'll need to wait. Okay. Maybe, so you want to meet with him first, and then potentially break in later. Yeah. I mean, we need a way to scope out the area without, you know, what is it? Rising, a, a rising suspicion. Arousing. <laughs> Yeah. Unless you got any better ideas. Um, I don't think so. Okay. That sounds good to me. Um, I'm going to just say the biggest concern is that he will, we have to be careful not to ask too many questions that lead him to believe that we may be up to nefarious stuff. I'm just saying we have to be careful with the language we use so as not to raise any suspicions because if we then break in, it's like we're going to be the first on the list in terms of suspects. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Well, get ready to... So what do you want to even ask them? I want to... I want to pretend like I'm in the market for a really, like unique or rare something and request to see it. I I don't know what they've got, but anything that might get us in those doors. What? And then just look around? As like a, well, I mean, just to, yeah, you can look around like, I don't know. I, I want, do I find a phone number I can call? Yeah, it's on the business card. Oh, it is. Okay. I'm going to call that number. Yeah, the phone rings, and it is picked up promptly. Emerson Imports, how can I help you? Hello, um, I am in the market for something rare and fascinating. Um, I... (laughs) What a way to start a conversation. (laughs) I don't know. Um, I was hoping... I might arrange to see some of your more interesting pieces in a one-on-one sort of session. I, I'm very, I'm very private and I don't, I don't, I don't like to be too out there in my dealings. Um, I, I, if, if, uh, you know, privacy is something and and being selective is something that you're not into then i suppose i I, I, we have nothing further to talk about but we can certainly accommodate all of that what sort of items are you interested in well i have been very interested in historical items um i I usually uh, art pieces um but anything with um either i mean things of value of course but beyond the decorative qualities I like anything with an interesting story or you know 
ritualistic connections. I really, I, I like to see what's available to me and I, I just sort of get a feeling, you know, um, it's sort of a gift. Yes, of course. Uh, we're available to meet all day if there's a time that would work for you. Fabulous. What time is it? Morning. So, just morning in general. Yeah. Um, would one o'clock work? Of course. And who should I say is coming by? A, um... <laughs> Julia Child. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first name that came to my head. Um, Julia a, Adult. Oh, that's super. <laughs> like, not, you don't like that? Fake Fakerson. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you can say a Julie Rhinestone. Oh my god, you st- <laughs> a stripper name. Oh fuck, okay. <laughs> roll, that. roll deception. Oh god. And rhinestone too, it's not even like... Fast talk. Roll fast talk. It's 54, mine's at 40. You can always spend uh, luck points, you can try to push it, or you can just accept it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna accept it. Okay. Boring. Just kidding. I- is this a prank call? No, I, okay. I'm just, I'm really, I'm really well known. I like to keep my identity under wraps until I've met with people. I promise you, this is completely legitimate. I just, I don't like to give out my real name before I've met someone. If if you can just say, you know, meeting with client in the meantime, that's usually how I do things. Very well. Can I smooth talker? I do have. I do have a, like a. I, I am a smooth Most talker. Different. Smooth talk and fast talk. What does smooth talk do? Well, so yeah, it's one of my talents. I gain a bonus die to charm rolls. I'm like trying to charm. Yeah, um, I'll allow you to do that for fast talking as a charm thing. Okay, cool. So what does this mean exactly? Just roll one more dice. The uh, roll the, tens. the yeah the tens die again or the hundreds. Yes, that one. Yeah. The big one. So I so I just roll one of those now? Or? Yeah, and you'll pick the better one. No, so you roll like normal, and then you re, you get to roll two of those. Does that make sense? Well, you've already rolled the 54, so just roll the... Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Is, I see. Which is what I just did, and it's, it's worse. It's worse. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, we do need a name down for the account. We deal with... We value our customers' privacy, and we would do our best to uh, make sure no one else learns that you are here or what you're looking for, so we will unfortunately need a real name to go along with this uh, meeting. Okay, this is... (laughs) This is Anna thinking. I'm like, all right, do I do I chance it again with another fake name or do I give my real <laughs> oh my name? Oh my god! Because <laughs> if 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 I'm like found out a second time, I don't know how you come back from that. You probably don't. I. So what I'm gonna do? So it's not a complete like lie or whatever. I'm gonna go with my middle name, and then of course I still have my maiden name. So. Well, you aren't married yet, so... Exactly. So, it's, like, not a direct connection to Elias, right? So, or anything like that, so, um... But you are famous. My middle name is Jane. So, I'll say my name is Jane Carnahan. Just Jane Carnahan. Roll a D100 for me, please. 81. All right. All right, I have you down as a Jane Carnahan for one o'clock. Thank you. I look forward to doing business with you. Of course. And uh, she hangs up. Okay, well, uh, I think that went well. (laughs) What was that with your voice? (laughs) That was pretty crazy. Uh, Yeah, yeah, sounded really good. I'm nervous, okay? That's fine. It's okay. All right. We've got a meeting there at one. I think I bring you guys along as my associates. Maybe, um, I mean, Ronnie, you're going to need to put on a nicer suit. I'm sorry, but this is a brand new suit. It's Kyle bought it for me. Kyle knows. It's a little, right? 
I think Kyle knew what you would want. I, th- it's not exactly in style. Like, okay, fine, fine. It's fine. At least it's clean. It is a newer <laughs> suit. Um, we can play it off. You're my, you know, little quirky, eccentric um, associate who has an eye for interesting artifacts. Okay, so you're just a little offbeat. It, it's believable. <laughs> In fact, I'm wearing one of those interesting artifacts. What, your suit? Yeah, the old suit from the <laughs> 80s or 90s. <laughs> it's yeah. not, Ronnie didn't say that, but... Yeah. Okay. Um, Kyle. Yeah. Um, y- you know I see you as more than an assistant, but I think it would be best if you sort of played that role here when we go. Yeah, I'll be the intern. <laughs> No, no, no. Assistant. You're, you're beyond that. You're an assistant. I, I don't see the difference. I, aren't assistant and intern the same? Oh, sure, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, you were an assistant that whole time. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. In the meantime, let's see, is there anything else we want to do this morning before we... Um, I don't think so. I can't think of anything. Okay. So I guess we'll just... Do you want to just like go there early and see the comings and goings? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So if you are... Oh, wait. Sorry. Yeah. I actually need to arrange for a new car. Yeah. So maybe that's what I'll do with the rest of the morning is like I'll make some calls, maybe have a car delivered via Carvana. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure there are better car delivery things than Carvana for people of your status. But yeah, basically I want whatever the latest version, like, you know, if it's, if there's an even newer version of the pen 15, that's what I want. Are you sure you want to be that conspicuous? I mean, I'm supposedly a super rich artifact purchaser. You've got the conspicuous car. I have the inconspicuous car. I feel like yours <laughs> sticks out a little bit too, but in the other way. I don't know about yeah. that. You get a uh, BMW WMB. <laughs> Just kidding. See a BN a BN BM BMW Viper. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's Mustang. Oh my god! No, wait, those are also makers. No, Mustang. It's a Ford Mustang and oh, a Dodge right. Viper. Right, okay. Really? Dodge Viper? Yep. Huh. Yeah, you, you get uh, just the newest um, BMW electric delivered, and it shows up pretty promptly. Okay. After that arrives, you know, and we're getting ready in the meantime, yeah, I want to head over to the imports place yep. early to sort of stake it out from afar. Yeah, it is definitely near the docks. Um, They obviously import the majority of their business by sea. Um, You suspect a lot of its big freight items uh, going by sea can sometimes be a little gentler and sometimes they're just too big for the uh, planes to carry. Mm -hmm. And you see, roll me. Are you there as well, Ronnie? Oh, yeah. Both of you roll me investigation. Is that an actual thing? No, investigation is D&D. Yeah. <laughs> roll me... Shit, what do you roll? I wouldn't be mad about spot hidden. Um, It's not spot hidden. Damn. Roll me... You don't have to roll me anything. Aww. You observe the comings <laughs> and going... You observe the comings and goings at uh, Emerson Imports for a little bit. You see there are a lot of unmarked vans that are driving um, in and out of the place. No- nothing suspicious. It just looks like they aren't trying to advertise the fact they are transporting very expensive items, mm-hmm. you know, around New York. So they don't want to make themselves an easy target. Yeah. You see that there's a, a big dock. Uh, um, 
So there's the docks and then there's kind of the trucking dock where they uh, load stuff into those vans and you see a lot of big pallets and uh, wooden crates and things there. It, it looks like a pretty normal business. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I guess as it nears one o'clock, you know, maybe like drive our car like away, but then come back like a different, like <laughs> just okay. so there's no chance that they maybe saw us like watching them yeah. or something, you know, um, and just, yeah, pull up like normal. Yeah. You park. Um, do you head inside then? Yeah. All right. So, um, the company is a long, narrow building and you head inside to a pretty small but nicely kept office. There is a young woman sitting uh, behind kind of the secretary's desk doing paperwork and she looks up when you enter. Ah, Jane Carnahan, is that you? Yes, yes. Pleased Perfect. to meet you. Yes, let me go get Mr. Emerson. And uh, she stands up and heads into the back and as she opens the door you see the majority of the building is just the big warehouse and it's full of uh, more crates and supplies and things like that and about a minute passes and she comes back with an older gentleman in, about in his 50s and uh, he approaches what's his voice I guess just generic person voice <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello Arthur Emerson how can I help you Hello. Uh, yes, I, I'm interested in your goods. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what they're called. It sounded very sexual. I know. Okay. Okay. I'm interested in doing business with you. I have always had an interest in interesting artifacts and art pieces and um you know items linked to history and um all that sort of thing i'm always looking to grow my collection and i i learned about your your business and thought i would come and check it out and see if it could of course of course you've come to the right place what sort of uh you know artifacts and items are you looking for well um, I do have my one of my consultants here with me, and I gesture to Ronnie. Yeah, and I just nod. Um, and, as well as my assistant. I hope that's fine. Yo. <laughs> I like shoot him a glance. <laughs> Fuck, like it's not proper. Um, that's popping, man. <laughs> um, I, I am interested in more of the. Mystical and mysterious items. Things that have a history of, of ritual. Ah, so um, you're looking for things of the occult nature? Yes, yes. I That is one of my greater interests, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, we can definitely help with that. Uh, what sort of area of the world are you looking for? Something uh, more local, like uh, New Orleans? Or are you wanting something European, African, Chinese? Australian. Do you have anything Aboriginal? Um, we don't have like anything you can purchase immediately, but if you're looking for certain items, we can certainly uh, spe reach out to our contacts and see what we can find. Currently, everything in our warehouse is waiting shipment to their current owners. Yes, I, I do have a particular interest in, um, you know, Australian Aboriginal pieces, but um, in the meantime, whatever you could show me from... Africa or I, I, I unfortunately can't show you anything today as I said all of the pieces are currently owned by someone uh, they are waiting shipment we have imported them for our customers and uh, taking care of all of the headache and you know just the annoyance of getting things uh, legally brought into the country mm. and there's there's no there's nothing um, that you could be persuaded to part with. I mean, to to redirect to a different customer that perhaps could pay more. Uh, no, we do take our clients' privacy and our own integrity very seriously. I respect that. The <laughs> what? 
<laughs> just the way you said it was funny. I respect that. Um, okay, well, thank you very much uh, for that information. And um, I'd have to say, while I'm disappointed, um, if this is the way you handle clients, then this bodes well for our future business dealings. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Our assistant here, he's a real... Um, fan of architecture. You mind if we get a tour of your warehouse? <laughs> 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 oh my God. He just loves the, um, you know, the beams and the, the civil engineering of it. <laughs> Kyle is looking at you like the fuck <laughs> <laughs> and roll deception, uh, roll fast talk, I suppose. Oh my God. That's an extreme success. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Arthur's a little taken aback, but he's, uh, well, sure. Um, yes, this building's been around since about the 50s. It is a, a very good example. And he starts like going off on, you know, the <laughs> historical um, lifetime of the building, how it was built during the war back in the 40s uh -huh. and uh, helped serve the um, Navy during uh, World War II. And he, he does start leading you guys around okay. into the back. Um, it looks like a much smaller version of the warehouse at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It's been too long. I don't remember it, but... uh. It's just the last shot where they're wheeling oh, the crate with the uh, Ark of the Covenant. Just a bunch of like uh, mm -hmm. packages or um, containers. Yeah. Um, I want to specifically look for like um, entrances, security systems. Other skylights. Roll spot hidden. I'm also looking. You as well. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so that's a 74. I have 85. So you uh, succeed there. Mm -hmm. You see, you make a note of the security cameras around the place, and it appears to have pretty good coverage. There are some uh, skylights. Entrances are kind of all around the building, keeping up with the fire code and everything. There are the big dock entrances, uh, both from the sea and out to the uh, truck docks. I don't think that's the right word. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Tr tr trucks are like mm -hmm. in a dock, like a bay. Like yeah. The truck bay. Yeah. Um, But that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple building. Okay. And with that role, you do see a. No, never mind. Cool. Well, thank you so much um, for showing us around. I, I feel very good about this working relationship. Um, you keep a, a clean warehouse. You are very professional. This is, this is quite good. Please let me know if uh, there's any, any information you can get for me. And I'm going to pull out one of my business cards and say, um, ap I apologize. I did use my middle name. Um, he takes the card and as he looks at it, his eyes kind of widen. Uh, Trixie Carnahan, as in, you wouldn't have to know a Jackson Elias, would you? Is there anything in Cthulhu that's like in D and D where like insight check? <laughs> Uh, psychoanalysis or psychology. Can I do psychology? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are you trying to figure out? If he's a friend or a foe. Mm. That is a 12 and I have 30 for psychology. Yeah, he, he seems... So that's actually a, a medium success. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he's not like angered by that or anything he just he looks genuinely curious and um interested okay since i sense nothing sinister um uh yes as a matter of fact uh jackson was my fiance yes when he uh, came down to see me he, he did mention that he was getting married to a 
uh, Trixie. It's a, a bit an unusual of a name. Um, you know, just small chat while we were, uh, you know, discussing business. Uh, would you mind sharing what what the what that business was? Um. Well, yes. Uh, Yes, if you could pass along as well that uh, I haven't found any new information as well, that would be, I would be most pleased. He didn't leave a number for me to contact him at. I, he, um, unfortunately died four days ago. Oh, uh, I, uh, please forgive me. I, I'm, I'm so incredibly sorry. Oh, I didn't. It's, it's, it's okay. How, how could you have known? Um, no, he, you have my utmost condolences. Thank you. Thank you. Um, he he did whatever he was working on. He requested that we continue investigating it. That's actually part of why we're here. So, what was he? What information did he want you to gather? I he was trying to find. Uh, he he told me he had been speaking around to uh, all the importers nearby, trying to find connections to Mombasa. Mombasa. Yes. He was trying to find connections to Mombasa? Like, yes, places he- that had been dealing with imports from Mombasa. Oh, okay. Got it. And you do not deal with imports from there, or? Roll me a fast talk. Come on, Trixie. So that means that I can roll that extra, that bonus die? Yes. Okay. No, you said, oh, you said fast talk. This is smooth talk, but you said I can... Smooth talk is a charm thing. Just go ahead and roll fast talk and do it with an extra. Okay. Oh, yeah, for charm rolls. And is fast talk a charm roll? Do a charm. Okay. There's a, yeah, there's a, there are two separate skills. I see that now. Yeah. Oof. 70. On a. 50. <laughs> Not happy. We, we do deal with a, uh, we, we only have one single client that imports from Mombasa, and that is about the extent of it that I can say. Okay, that's fine. Um, but the, And there's nowhere else around here? Um, perhaps, but it, I did get the feeling that Mr. Elias was searching for uh, someone who was importing... Someone particular dealing with uh, their import business. With Mombasa's import business. With someone in Mombasa, Mombasa. yes. Okay. Wait, Jackson was, you said? Yes. Okay. And you're not that person, <laughs> clearly. Well, no, he was seeing if I had any dealings with that export business. Got it. Okay. <sighs> okay. There's nothing more you can tell us. Uh, he he was he was murdered, and we're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> you could try to I push. Have, like, my you could try my to push the trial. Right You're not gonna lose, I guess, right? To push it. Yeah. What does that mean? I do. Roll again. You get to roll it again, okay. but if you fail, something bad will happen that we will decide beforehand. What should I do? You, you, 20 points of luck. That's a lot of luck, though. That's a lot of luck. I don't know. Pushing is kind of chaotic and fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I, I have to use 20 points of luck and I get to re-roll. But no. if it's... Oh, no. Pushing it doesn't involve... Oh, luck. okay. Re-roll. Pushing it is that you re-roll it. The luck means you... If you get it, you can right. use a spin. That's a lot of luck. I don't want to use all of that... I'll try rerolling the charm. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so before we reroll, we need to decide what happens if you fail. If you fail, the information that you are here and looking for this will find its way out to people you probably don't want that getting to. Whoa. Woof. Okay. I have to do it though, right? You don't have to. I don't have to. I can still decide not to. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Probably shouldn't, right? Like that seems really bad. I don't know. It seems like he knows something. 
right? Like, yeah, the fact that Brendan would let me. <laughs> I should just give it a shot. It's a lead, but- you know. It's the only thing we have, you know, other than going across another, going to another continent at this point. It's true, and literally, I mean, because we could try to sneak in later, but yeah, don't know that we're gonna find. All right, I, I'm just gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Okay, I'm do gonna, it. Ugh. Do I still get that bonus die? Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's a feat. I'll allow it. So it's a, yeah. So I'm re-rolling the charm, right? Yep. Okay. So I need at least a fifty. That's fifty percent chance. Well, better than fifty percent chance. Oh. That's a two. Oh, God okay. Bless. Let me look up the rules for extreme successes here. <laughs> Thank you, Cthulhu. Your chances were good. If you needed a 50 and then you had advantage, that's better than 50-50. True, but you never know how the dice will roll. Well, no, it's not better than 50-50. Because it's just 50-50. Because you effectively rolled it twice and the chances don't change the number of times you roll it. But He said that he was there, Jackson was there just a few days back, right? Uh, Yes. No, no, he would have been there. um, He would have been there a while ago. Okay. He he definitely looks um, swayed by you. Uh, The fact that Jackson is dead and to be speaking with his fiance and uh, the fact that you're continuing whatever investigation he was on does seem to sway Arthur. And he kind of leans closer and just I- I'm not supposed to do this it, it goes just just follow me and he'll lead you back to his office and uh, he closes the door behind the three of you mm-hmm. uh, Mr. Elias he was looking th- he was looking for anyone any importers who did business with a Mombasan exporter by the name of Aja Singh A-H-J-A-S-I-N-G-H. We do deal with uh, Mr. Singh, or is it a Mr.? We do deal with uh, Singh's business, but uh, they only have one client here in New York, a club apocalypse. Mm. I believe Jackson said that he was going to go investigate or go uh, look at this club apocalypse, but uh, I never heard up any uh, follow up on that so so Club Apocalypse is your client that you get stuff from the Sing uh, I, I'm just the middleman uh, Sing's client is Club Apocalypse and I, you're the uh, middleman yes okay. that is correct um, I do believe that uh, Jackson intended to visit Club Apocalypse there was a uh, Amir Agdesh there that um I dealt with the majority of the time. He he's a very knowledgeable man. Amir Agdesh was the name of the the name on the back of the card. Oh, okay, yeah. got yeah. it. This is very helpful. Thank you. Um, can you share at all what the items were that you got for this club apocalypse? I know that goes against what you should be doing. Like. I, with your charm roll, he'll go ahead and tell you. There, there was some very esoteric items in there. Over the years, we've been working with them for years. Let me pull this up. Hide that sidebar. I, I mean, there have been some uh, rare and... Some very rare books. Uh, there was a statuette at one point... Um, a circlet of a uh, long dead queen of Egypt and uh, some other things like some flails. There, there, there's been quite a bit. It's more what haven't they imported at this point. But mostly from from Africa then? From all over the world. Oh, okay. But yes, funneled through Africa, through uh, Mombasa. Were you familiar with any of these items? Like No, no. We on, I only ever read the manifest. I never saw them directly. What I can tell you if you're going to Club Apocalypse, be careful. 
around Agdesh, he, uh, he makes my skin crawl, if I'm entirely honest with you. Do you know what kind of items he was looking for? I, I don't. I, I just know that as a person, he, he makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. So this is more Anna. Agdesh is the point person for Club Apocalypse, like the one who is arranging these things. That's okay. correct. Got it. It sounds like a a good time we can go say hey to this Club guy. Apocalypse, is that that like is that the rich people place? Like where all the rich famous people were at? That's like or was am I confusing that with another thing? Like the rich famous people, um, like that Hilton Adams. Yes, that is correct. That's the same place. Yep. Okay. So I oh, that has connections with, um, oh, so Hilton Adams used to hang out there. Is where you? No, he was uh, patrolling around that area, and oh, Club and Apocalypse is like the super exclusive, like right. Okay. Okay. Is that like where he got arrested when he was strolling around or you, you get the sense that club apocalypse was definitely involved somehow with his arrest. Okay. Like if you fuck with people who go to the to club apocalypse, like you're right. Like, like Hilton. Well, you'll certainly get taken care of in one fashion or another. Yeah. Maybe um, shift in a prison. I don't know. Maybe shift in a prison. <laughs> um, well, Miss, wait, hold on, Arthur Emerson. Mr. Emerson, thank you so much for all of your help. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out if you find out anything new. And I point at the business card in his, in his hand that I had given him. Like, um, of, of course. I, I am so grateful for the information you were able to give us. Please be careful. Um, there's something going on. I don't know exactly what Jackson was on to, but he was on to something. Of course. I, uh, once again, I'm so sorry for your loss. He, he seemed like a wonderful man. Thank you. He, he was. I guess, I guess that's it. I think we probably need to go clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yep. I guess we do. Um, yeah. Well I'll like shake Arthur's hand and we'll <laughs> leave. <laughs> All right. And as you leave, that is where we're going to end for tonight on this episode of We Never Learned the Rules. Thank you so much for listening. We always enjoy having uh, been able to put this on for all of our good listeners. You can find us at, at what rules Pod on Twitter or whatrulespod at gmail.com. If you want to leave us a review or a rating on Apple Podcasts, that always helps new listeners find us. And we will see you again next time on Masks of Nyarlathotep. <laughs> <laughs>